Okay guys, we've had to take a quick uh, maintenance break here. I noticed that the uh, blade tracking was a little bit off on that last cut. It didn't seem to be running quite right and I popped the cover open and it's, it's running a little bit rearward on this this uh, I'm not sure I guess it's like an idle pulley on this side so we're gonna make some, a little bit of an adjustment here see if we can't get that running right on center on that uh, wheel on the side you gotta give it a few spins here let it figure out where it wants to set on this wheel that feels pretty good I think I'm just gonna leave that right there tighten that up a little bit more I think we're back in business sometimes projects just go really smooth just they just they just roll you know one thing after another it just it just goes well boom 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 you get the project done easy other times you're working on a project and it just again it's one thing after another but it's not not things that you're wanting to happen so I was out here a couple days ago beautiful day sunny no wind it was awesome trying to knock out a little milling and I had a log up here I was getting ready to make another pass on it and log rolls off oh, man okay well so I assumed you know the the log clamp vibrated loose and that's what happened so got in the loader put the log back up here and went to uh, clamp it back down and this is what I saw and as you can see the uh, log clamp is no longer attached to the uh, the sawmill this is what it should look like over here you got that hooked right on there and that pivots around there and then that clamps down into the wood pull that down like that tightens into it so uh, so no well we got a problem here that's not good so I went and checked the others and that one over there was still fine and then I checked this one over here and this one I think you can see it there has a broken weld on the one side so uh, yeah okay that's that's a bit of a problem uh, and it's a little bit suspicious that one of them broke and there's another one that's looking like it's about ready to break so that was about all I got done for milling and uh, that was on a Saturday so I took the pieces home and sent Woodland Mills tech guys a uh, little email with some pictures in it so I didn't get an email over the weekend which was not surprising 
Uh, and then first thing this morning, got an email back from them, and the guy said we are very sorry. So we will get you uh, some new pieces in the mail, hopefully today. And actually, he said he's th they're going to replace all of them, uh, not just the two that broke, because there's three, yeah, three of those log clamps on the mill. And not only that, he also said that uh, they redesigned it. That instead of having two little tiny welds that are holding those pieces together, I guess somehow it like wraps around it or something. I wasn't quite following what he said, but I guess uh, it almost sounds like this isn't the first time this has happened, <laughs> considering they've decided that you know they they need to have a different design on how that's put together. So anyway, hopefully that will be coming in the next week or so. I believe he said it should be about a week, um, and I'll have those. So we'll have that. I've still got one clamp that's still holding up so far, so we can still do a little bit of milling with that. Um, but probably I'll work on getting a few more logs down here first. Uh, that'll be in the next video. Uh, getting a little bit more stuff down here, maybe working on getting some of these sill logs uh, put in place, doing that, and then hopefully we can procrastinate a little bit until uh, these new clamps get here before we do more milling. And as sort of a fun little uh, side note on Woodland Mills. Hey, looky there. A little over a year after I bought my sawmill, they, they finally sent my hat to me. I pestered them a couple times about that because uh, <laughs> they, they said that if you send in a review on the sawmill, they send you a hat. So I've, I've bothered them a couple times that they hadn't gotten me my hat yet, and they, this finally showed up in the mail last week. So I thought that was sort of funny. So I figured I'd show that to you guys. We did on sort of a, a fun, funny note with that for this video. Um, after having the uh, sawmill have a little uh, issue with that. So. Like I said, next video is going to be uh, probably maybe some more logs or getting the sill logs in place or sill beams. Hey guys, so real quick before we wrap this video up, I just want to put in a quick plug for my other social media. Uh, I've also got Instagram and Facebook by the same name, Landis Legacy Farm. Um, and the cool thing about the other two is that those are actually up to date. Uh, YouTube is generally a couple weeks uh, behind what's happening in real time um, because it takes me a little while to edit videos and upload them and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to kind of follow what's going on up to date, you can follow me on either of those two platforms. And also if you want to ask any questions that maybe you don't want to ask on through the YouTube comments, you can also contact me through like Facebook Messenger or uh, you can also through the email. We've got a website, uh, LandisLegacyFarm.com. So there's an email through that as well. And I was just talking to a guy the other day. Um, I think his name is Scott from out in Colorado through Facebook. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to put in a quick plug for that before we wrap up the video. Okay, back to whatever video this goes in. <laughs> And yeah, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next week. Are those turkeys up in there? Yeah, those are turkeys up in there. There's a lot of them too. Dang gum. That big flock.